part two. Second Edris chapter 16. Stop. Come. The book of Second Edris. Verse one. Oh, Ab Asia won't be unto thee. Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with the cloths. Ends of sack, Slakia. Like gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. Oh, he's bringing destruction to Babylon, Asia, Egypt, and Assyria. Uh huh. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May, may any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood, or many, like you, or may any one quench the fire in stubble when it hath begun to burn. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues. And who is he that can drive them Who's away? Who's going to turn it back when he start bringing forth destruction in the earth? Because he's not done with, with, with those empires. And he's not done with Egypt, too. All those idols in Egypt that, that everyone wants. What, what does he got to say about Egypt? Go to go to Second Edges chapter 15. Because he's not done with Egypt, neither. Go to uh, 15 and verse 11. The book of Second Edges chapter 15 and verse 11. But I will him with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as with and will destroy all the land. Hold on. Read that again. You're going out. Verse second edges chapter 15 verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Mm -hmm. He's going to destroy it. Go back to what you had. Let's go to uh uh second edge 16. Let's start at verse 19. Done. The book of second edges, chapter 16 and verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things they shall not turn. From their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Mm, things gonna be so cheap. We gonna everyone's gonna think, oh no, I'm good. We just we're just going on about our life, uh huh. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine. And great confusion. Great confusion. And you see it now. I mean, you could go on these, these, uh, you can go online and get you some things for cheap. Things that you, that it was hard to get. Whether it be some furniture, whatever. You could get you some things easily these days. You get you some clothes for cheap. You get a lot of things for cheap. But he says evils will grow up on the earth every day. You see every city got that crime going on. You see people passing away and murder just at the height. After they gave out all that PPP money, right? And what it say? And great confusion. Much confusion. So much confusion that people came in here no truth. Because everyone got the answer. And you just got to listen like, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, the Democrats, the Republican. Oh, yeah, Biden. Yeah, they just want control. Yeah, brother, they just want control. It's brother black power, brother. But when it come to this, no, no, that can't be the truth. That, that can't be the truth. Great confusion. Finish reading. Verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Mm -hmm. And the dead shall be cast out as dumb. And there shall be no man to comfort them. But the earth shall be wasted. Because... You 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 say if the famine don't get you, then the sword, then the he say then the sword gonna get you. Why? Because you gotta make sure you under the, this hedge of protection of the Most High. Get uh, get uh, Amos chapter uh, chapter five. Amos chapter five. 
in verse 20. Uh, no. Book of no, no, no. So like you get uh, verse 18 and 19. Book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Mm -hmm. So you see you going here and then you end up getting caught. You might make it through this, but then the next one, you might not then take the, you might then take the campaign in the arm, but something else, if you don't repent, he long suffering. He's trying to get you to repent. The most high, right? He's long suffering. Get second edges chapter. Uh, no, we'll, we'll, uh, let's get, He's long served. Let's get 2 Timothy chapter 3. Or 2 Peter chapter 3. Let's get 2 Peter chapter 3. No, first. Yeah, 2 Peter chapter 3 verse. Let's get verse 8. Uh -huh. It's the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, and verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So he wants some to come to repentance. Go back to second address. He just wants some to come to repentance. So don't think that it's slack. Just think, just know that it's mercy that he's having upon the people. Trying to get you to come on in. To this kingdom prepared. So you don't be, so you don't go with the wicked. So you don't be destroyed with the leaders of this world. Let's finish that up. Finishing off at verse 23 and second Edges chapter 16 and the city shall be cast down. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit and who shall gather them. The grapes shall ripen and who shall tread them for all places shall be desolate of men. So that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. Or of a city, there shall be ten left, and two of the field, which shall hide themselves in the big groves. Oh, that's the ones that should be left behind. One in the field, one taken. See, no rapture. Some gonna be. You seen the book? Of, you seen the movie Book of Eli? You seen how how just destroyed Babylon was? You seen that? So you are gonna have to make it through. You're going to have to make it through. Jump it down to verse 40. And if you don't, you know the dead in Christ will rise first at the coming of the Lord for that la in that last war. But to those that, that pass on that didn't repent except Christ. On Old Testament only Hebrews that don't want that sacrifice. Knowing that he already showed Abraham put Isaac on the altar. He already showed you things written aforetime written for your learning. He showed you what he was laying down for the future. He showed you, okay, Abraham, put Isaac on that altar. Stopped it. Animal sacrifice. Showed you, yeah, I'm going to give, but, but my Israelites that's used to sacrifice, I'm going to get in the ultimate sacrifice to come on in. And you're not taking it. Because you, cause you've been, been deceived. you following Edom over there in Jerusalem today. Not believing in the Old Testament. They, they can't even deal in the Old or the New. They can't deal with none of it. How you gonna deal in a book when you don't even know who real Israel is? You you it's, you don't even know you, you you confused. That's why he say come to the Israelites for this understanding. Like say Romans chapter nine, uh, start that at uh, verse forty. It's second Ezra. It's the book of Second Ezra chapter sixteen and verse forty. Oh my people, hear my word. 
make you ready to the battle. And in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. And he that buyeth as one that will lose. He that occupieth merchandise as he that hath no profit by it. And he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth as if he should not reap. So also he that planted the vineyard as that as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry as they that shall get no children. And they that marry not as the widowers. And therefore they that labor, labor in vain. For strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons, the more will I be angry with them for their sin, saith the Most High. Like as a whore envieth a right, honest, and virtuous woman, so shall righteousness hate iniquity. When she decketh herself, and shall accuse her to, to her face. And when he cometh, that shall defend him that diligently searcheth out every every sin upon earth. Let's, let's jump it over to 63. Jump it over to verse 63. Surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sins. Verse 64, therefore, have the Lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame. And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. What will you do or how will you hide your sins before God and his angels? Behold, God himself is the judge fear him leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever so shall god lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble for behold the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Stop falling for the programming. Uh huh. Verse 70 For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like, it's like it, they shall be like madmen. Sparring none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So we're going to be tried as gold. Finish reading. Here, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your guide. And the guide of them who commandment and precepts, saith the Lord. So uh, you want to make sure you in these precepts. You want to make sure. You. Uh huh. Like you. Let not your sins weigh you down. And let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go to 2nd chapter 7, verse 26. 2nd Nezer 7, verse 26. Uh, it's the book of 2nd Ezra. 
chapter 7 and verse 26. Behold, the time shall come that these tokens which I have told thee shall come to pass, and the bride shall appear, and she coming forth shall be seen, that now is withdrawn from the earth. And whosoever is delivered from the foresaid evils shall see my wonders. For my son, that's uh, Joshua, right? For my son, Joshua. No, nah, that one's Yeshua. That's Christ. Block you. For my son, Yeshua, shall be revealed with those that be with him. And they that remain shall rejoice within 400 years. Okay, so that was during the time of, right, the Persian act, uh, captivity that Edris was in. So you're talking about around 400 years up to leading to Christ. That's what this is talking about here. So 400 years after Persian captivity going into the Greek captivity, how they took it, and the Romans ruling in Judea at the time, right? This prophecy. Finish reading. Um, verse 29. After these years shall my son Christ die, and all men, and all men that have life, and the world shall be turned into the old silence seven days, like as in the former judgments, so that no man shall remain. And after seven days, the world that ye awaketh not. So like, let me read verse 31 over again. And after seven days, the world that yet awaketh not shall be raised up, and that shall die that, shall die that is corrupt. And the earth shall restore those that are asleep in her. And so shall the dust, those that dwell in silence. And the secret places shall deliver those souls that were committed unto them. Mm -hmm. So those that have died in the, in the dirt, right? Those that have passed on. Finish reading. Verse 33. And the Most High shall appear unto the seat of judgment. And misery shall pass away. And the long suffering shall have an end. But judgment only shall remain. Trust shall stand and faith shall wax strong. And the work shall follow and the reward shall be showed. And the good deeds shall be of force. And wicked deeds shall bear no rule. Then said I, Abraham, pray first for the Sodomites. Abraham, pray for them Sodomites to get it together. Uh huh. Hold on. Let's go to uh, let's go to. First Thessalonians chapter four. Father Abraham, he was praying for them sodomites. Look, repent from this madness y'all dealing with. But what they say in Babylon, you teach hate. You're not accepting us. You're not giving us your children. Let's start at verse uh second Thess no first Thessalonians four and thirteen. Come. For those that be sleep, that, that's in the that have passed on, uh huh. Chapter 4 and verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Yeshia died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yeshia will God bring him, bring with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. So those spirits that's in the heart of the earth, in the bosom of Abraham, Awaiting judgment because everything is inside this earth. Awaiting judgment when you go in the second and when you go in the second address. And you get that annotated apocrypha. And it talks about the souls and the spirits that's just waiting for judgment. The other on the side waiting for that judgment of destruction. That second death. And those on the other side is waiting that kingdom. Finish reading. Verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Mm -hmm. before, before he come and bring fire to plead with all flesh in that judgment be set. Get uh, uh, jump that over to uh, five and two. 
done. First Thessalonians chapter five and verse two. For you know, no that the day of the Lord re shall come. Reread re re that again. First Thessalonians chapter five and verse two. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. Go to uh, ch Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. Because second address was talking about the most high. And judgment being set, right? And that judgment being set. But what did it, what does it look like? What's the vision that the prophets left? Let's get uh, Daniel chapter 7. Let's start at verse 9. No, and it's the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands and thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were open. I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. Speaking of Babylon, speaking of Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, that little horn that grew from the three European countries. Uh huh. Finish reading. I beheld even. Till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning fire, to the burning flame. As concerning the rest of the beast, they had their dominion taken away. Yet their lives were prolonged for a season and time. Because the Roman Empire done subdued all the other kingdoms that, that was ruling the world back then. Now, in that beast of the Roman Empire, that's who Christ is coming back to destroy, that fourth kingdom, the Roman Empire. That, that harlot that sit on many waters like Revelation 17. That done flooded the world with their doctrine and all their military bases. Finish reading. Verse 13. I saw in the night visions and behold, one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him and there was given him dominion Speaking and glory. Speaking of Christ. Speaking of Christ right there, uh-huh. And a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. And his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Let's go to book Ezekiel. Let's get Ezekiel chapter 20. In verse 33. Uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20 and verse 33. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with with fury poured out, will I rule over you. And I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered. The same way he said he was going to scatter us worldwide and it happened. Israelites back then probably thought that wasn't possible. Just like Israel today. Man, how are Most High going to gather us from? And we done been spread out all over the earth. This his world. He could do what he want to do. He done created man. Con. Finish reading. With a, with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm. Here he poured. And I will bring wilderness of the people plead with you face to face like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt so will I plead with you saith the most high power and I will cause you to pass under the rod and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant and I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me, and I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know 
that I am the most high. So everyone got to be on point. Let's go to uh, Ezekiel 25. Let's start at verse 12. And why they want to make sure that you don't get this knowledge and you don't repent. And they want to recruit you into the devil's army instead of the most high's army. Go ahead. Verse 12. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25 and verse 12. Thus saith the most high power, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the most high power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. Mm -hmm. And I will, and I'm desolate. So like I'm hearing my, myself echo now. You, you still hear me good? Yeah, go ahead. Come, come. I'll pick it up at verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Taman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Most High Power. And that's how the Most High come in. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 2 and 3. Uh, it's the book of Zechariah, chapter 14 and verse 2. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken. And the house is ri rifled, and the woman ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations, as when He fought in the day of battle. Mm -hmm. He gonna come lead. He gonna come lead His army back, just like leaving Egypt. It's coming. It's all coming back again. It's all coming back again. It's all coming back again. Uh, uh, Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse one. I'll try to hit these hit these last ones. We want to make sure we edify all the way. Uh, look at Isaiah chapter four. Read that again. Say re repeat that. You cut out. Done. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Oh, now are the strength. See, and this is what our brothers out there in this truth that be talking about. Well, the Gentiles, there ain't no salvation. They can't get no kingdom. Then why do you like to bring this scripture out to say you're going to get served? Because right there it's talking about strangers shall what? And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. The strangers shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And what else? Finish reading. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids so in righteousness they going they going like their position right finish reading and they shall take them captives whose captives they were so now we going to take captives of the rulers of the earth uh huh and they shall rule over their oppressors mhm mm and it shall come to pass in the day that the lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. So you've been serving in hard bondage every day. You got to get up. You better make sure you get to work. The baby need milk. Go to uh, Isaiah chapter 61 uh, uh, verse 5. Uh, 
one. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 61 and verse 5. Go, let's get 5 through 9. Uh-huh. Go on. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your vineyards, your vine dressers. It's like you. But ye shall be named the priest of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. For your shame, for your shame, ye shall have double. And for your and for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. So you're gonna get a double portion for what you done lost, Israel. You're gonna get it back in some for everything that you lost, huh? Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. For I, the Most High, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering. And I will direct their work in truth. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles. And their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them. That they are the seed which the Lord have blessed. That those are the people that the Lord blessed. Zechariah 8 and 23. Those are the people that the Most High blessed. Yeah, they're the people. We we want to we want to get with them because we see we see the, the 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 leaders of our people, Edom and Japheth and 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 Ishmael. We see they done sold us out. Man, them righteous Israelites, they still dealing with us even after even after we thought they were just we thought they were just the worst of the worst? Nah, we showing mercy. We Israelites. We're not, we're not tripping like that. We got a double portion coming. We got something coming righteous. We got we got a different type of kingdom coming. Where you don't have to have your, your, your vax card to go to school. Bring that out. This is the book of Zechariah. Chapter 8. Chapter 8 That's verse what? Read that again. You went out. The book of Zechariah. Chapter 8 and verse 23. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass that men shall take hold out of all of all languages of the nations, even take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Mm hmm. They gonna say we gonna we gonna go with you because we see the Most High is dealing with y'all, and it's coming now. You got some that's tapping on in. They see what's going on in the world, but they just see man. Which we we see the Israelites are teaching, but which ones will really just deal with us because we know what our people have done to them. But where where can we go? Where are the one? How can we fulfill this right here, Israel? Zechariah chapter 8, verse 23. How can we, the ones that saying we know you're the Jews and we know God is with you? We just want to learn. Some going to do Christ's doctrine. Some going to make up their own doctrine. Right? Let's go to Zechariah chapter 16, verse 14. Two more scriptures and we done. Zechariah. I mean, I still like it. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 16, verse uh, 14 and 15. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and go uh, 14 through 16. The book of Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth. That brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. We ain't gonna be talking about Egypt no more. Uh huh. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Mm hmm. That's what's gonna happen. It's happening now. First, he's waking you up, cleaning you up, and now he got things about to start moving in the earth to bring you back. And they think they're going to cut off borders and come with their weapons and all that. But the Most High just sitting back laughing. You can't plan against the Most High. And their leader, the fallen one, go to Revelation chapter 7, verse 14. Their fallen one, he know he can't war against them, but he done, they, they, they got a reprobate mind. They think they can pull this off. 
because they've been ruling for a long time. They not doing this. They they're not doing it for nothing. Seven and fourteen. Bring that up. Ah, that's the book of Revelation, chapter seven and verse fourteen. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, mm -hmm. and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Because mm -hmm, we got Christ's blood, and we're gonna make it through the great tribulation, and you are too, as long as you keep the Most High God's law, baptism, dealing with Christ. Loving your neighbor, you love yourself, and you repenting when you fall short and getting back on that righteous path, like Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 talks about uh, in Apocrypha. Anything from you, Lama Wat? But I just, you know, and, and endure through it all, you know. Because it's more. Mm -hmm. Got to endure through the Spirit. Because it's more to come. So with that, family, bless you all. We'll see you on the next one. Shalom. Shalom. Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even, and at even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning, for the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess flicked thee. And I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame, in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time, will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all.